Right, so, as you may remember a little while ago, we swapped the motor on this Harrison lathe, and I haven't actually fitted the pulley yet, the um, higher speed pulley, and I've just undone the bolts because I'm getting a hell of a lot of belt slap and clutch rattle from the lathe lately. Um, so we're just going to have a look and see if we can fit the new pulley quickly and then also alleviate some of the noise that's coming in from the lathe. So you can see it's a two belt system and yeah that's too loose. So I can already tell that these need tightening up. And we actually do have quite a bit of corrosion on the pulley. Um, Yeah, so we need to tighten the belts. To be honest, I think I'm going to order some new belts as well because these are ancient. Um, just about make out what they are. They're Goodyear A68s. So They're 68 inch belts, according to that. Um, I'm going to have a look at the clutch plate. So that's where a lot of our rattle is coming from. This plate moving in and out, and I'll bring the camera in now and I'll show you that. Um, I've seen a few people put springs behind this plate and also. Um, make new pins to suit the oval holes and my holes aren't that oval on this but they are worn and that will be where the uh, the rattles coming from so I think we'll replace we'll put some springs in anti-seize on here because that was quite difficult to get that off and um, the only reason for a taper lock to get stuck on is if it rusts so just put a little bit of this on very, very thin smear now we need a straight edge I'm happy with that. Right, so we've um, refitted the belts. We've fitted the new higher speed pulley, bigger diameter. And uh, now we're gonna see what the belt slap's like. Because we have got a fair bit more belt tension now. We could go tighter, but we'll see if we start with that. But you can hear this, this clutch. Clutch plate is very noisy. hear the rattling already. So the, the rattling is from that clutch plate. The belts don't look too bad. It's bearing sounds drawing there. Right, so the lathe, the, the noise of the lathe is not horrendous when it's running. It's more gearbox and um, motor noise. If I stop the clutch, which is the lever that you just see here, that plate is what's making the rattling noise. If we re-engage the clutch, the noise disappears because that plate's now being held. The minute you let it off, the noise comes back. So this is why I think the springs might work. And I've seen other people put springs in. Now. Right, when I say this has been an absolute load of fuckery adjusting this clutch, um, I'm not joking. This has taken me probably the best part of an hour of taking this clutch assembly on and off to get it right. Um, 
I've been at, had to watch a couple of uh, videos in between different people showing how to adjust the clutch and um, I think I'm actually going to do a little write up on it because uh, no one actually explains it very well um, and the, the service manual is a bit vague. So we just got back from picking up our new belts. So we've got a pair of these are uh, Opti belt made in Romania. Look good quality. So these are for the Harrison Lave. They cost us 11.47 each plus that, so about 28 quid basically. Um, so 14 quid a piece. Doesn't seem too bad to me for a 68 inch belt. Let's fit them. Right, so to fit these belts, the first job is to loosen off or slacken off all the bolts on the bloody motor again. I've got enough to get that belt off, essentially, yep. Okay. Just roll the belts off the pulleys. Get that out of that way. Perfect, that's the old belts off. Too tight. A bit more. really quite good. I think that back the back of that might could come up again slightly now that we've tightened it all down. at all. So, I think, let's give it a run and see what it sounds like. But well, it's certainly less wobble from them belts. Still got the annoying clutch rattle, obviously. Still got that harmonic sort of hum. It definitely sounds like it's coming from the motor. But I don't know what we can do. There's minimal vibration from that motor. Should have ran them up without the belts on, really. But there you go. That's how you change the belts on a Harrison 140 like. And they, they have got a lot less wobble and slap to them now. That's nice. 